Our project is a club for middle school students interested in tinkering, programming, crafting, and making. The club is facilitated by a group of graduate students from a local ALA accredited information school, a faculty member from that school, and the middle school librarian. We use a curriculum based on national educational technology standards as a foundation for the hands-on participatory learning activities that we do each week. Inspired by an introductory unit on programming in an ed tech class, a few students were excited to learn more and began coming to the library during their recess. This led them to ask the librarian if they could start coming in after school. One thing led to another and the first iteration of our after school programming club was born. Well, one thing about Summit Michigan Makers is that it teaches kids some skills that usually you wouldn't learn during in school or even out of school. And you know, it's a whole new opportunity. Michigan Makers, I think, was an expansion of the computer club, but it was a more open learning and community-based learning system than Peter Clippers. They're so dedicated about what they do and they're totally focused on helping us, like the younger students, learn more about programming and computers and it's just so something different every time, something new that it never gets dull and it's always worth coming back here to see what's going on and, and have fun and enjoy. The project introduces hands-on technology to interested students as they progress along a continuum from concrete to abstract understandings of circuits, microprocessors, and computer programming using low-cost materials. We want kids to go beyond using technology. We want them to build it from scratch. We want students to think innovatively and work through problems with teamwork and creativity. We got to make, uh, for example, squishy circuits, which we got a Play-Doh material, and we came with it with wires, and we were able to light up LEDs, which was really cool and fun. We also got to use Arduinos, which was fun. Um, we got to light up LEDs using a circuit board. Some students went further, and they used a button to turn the light on and off. That was really cool. But technical know-how is not enough. In terms of 21st century skills, critical thinking is just as important as knowing how to complete a task. This is 21st century teaching and learning at its finest, and it's happening in a school library.